So when this game first released, there was a ton of drama. I don't know if you guys remember, but essentially uh, the game's code got stolen, and there was a bunch of idea bugs. Too. The idea of everything, yeah, pretty much the whole game was like just a, a crapshoot, bro. So, uh, we're it, the game decided to re-release though, and it's very interesting. It, it, it had a lot of bugs on release, but so far I think it's not the worst game in the world. I actually kind of like playing the game if they keep updating it and the devs put in some work which they have been, then we might be in for a pretty good game on Roblox. I have not played it as much. I've actually have not even played one round. I've only gotten into the game, but not actually played it. So this is going to be my first time seeing it and playing it. So we, we'll see together how it goes. Let me show you guys the summit area. There is this guy over here named All Might on the right. If you talk to him every four hours, he will give you 220 gems. And uh, this is the banner. It shows you the percentages right here of what the odds are. And they do have a Mythic Pity, which is actually really, really cool. So I have enough gems to get this Mythic Pity. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get this Mythic right now and show you guys what the epic animation looks like when you do get a Mythic. Oh, it's happening. Oh, Woo! Bro, I didn't even have to hit my pity. So this is the cool animation that happens when you actually do get a mythic in the game. It's it's kind of epic. It looks a little similar, a little similar to the animation you get from uh, ASTD, but there he is, Zamayoto, that is actually aka cool. Yamamoto. And then we got some other random units over here, but yeah, so that's what the animation looks like. Pretty, pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie. Cool. Let me go ahead and remove Trafalgar off my team. And, Trafalgar, uh, why are you taking off? Yeah, because I need to make room for Mr. Zamayoto. So the next thing they have in this game, which is pretty cool, is an enchant thing. It's very similar to like Enemy Adventures or Enemy Last Stand uh, with uh, techniques and traits. So we're going to come over here and let's go ahead and just put this on maybe on Demon King. No, he's got Warrior, actually. I'm going to leave him with that. We're going to reroll on Zamayoto. They have a bunch of different enchantments that you can get. And if you hover over each one, it tells you what it does. So there's a lot of really good ones. My personal favorite, because it's super easy to get, is Cheapskate. It reduces your placement cost by 50%, which is, is huge. so good. So let's see what we get here. Anything good? Oh. You rolled profit. What does that do? Uh, plus ten percent cooldown, plus thirty-five percent damage. I'll okay, take it. It's not bad. It. It's not bad. Let's roll on this guy. Cheap's. I'll take that too. And Demon Ghost. He doesn't have one. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll roll on Demon Ghost. Oh. How lucky is that? Oh. No comments. It's gonna be so cheap to place these people now. No comments. That's actually so good. Get me out of here, bro. Get me out of here. We're gonna go into the play area now, boys. All right, let's catch you in there. <laughs> actually, before we jump into the play area, there is a PvP zone over there, and the enchant area is also an evolution area. So we're gonna be seeing some hopefully, hopefully soon, some PvP and evolutions happening in the game. Hmm. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but there are a lot of units in the game, so I wouldn't be surprised if they introduce that soon. So I'm let's excited. go over here. They have a ton of missions off the bat for us to play today. We're gonna do mission one, number one for Kanoki over here. Oh, Starbucks. Hello. Interesting. Not sure what that did, but let's go ahead and start this up. All right, let's vote hard mode because uh, I have a little secret for you guys. So don't tell the devs. Don't tell any of the devs. But Chance is low key the best unit in the game right now. He solos hard mode, bro. He literally wait a second. Interesting. He is literally gonna solo this. And honestly, the first wave you shouldn't place. I just wasted. Oh, never mind. Didn't waste anything. Didn't waste anything at all, boys. Easy money, yeah, but Shanks is literally one of the best units in the game, and uh, he carries through almost everything. As long as you get him to upgrade number four up here, then you should be super duper okay with the game, and uh, he's going to do pretty much most of the work here. They also have these power-ups that you get on the left, so I can use X over here and drop a buffing field. Normally, I don't use them too much. I'll drop a healing field uh, over here, too. And uh, the healing field does help a little bit, at least if you're placing your units mm -hmm. on the first wave. And lastly, they have a meteor that you can drop. So let me go ahead oh, and... That's oh, that's cool. These units over here died, so this is perfect. Let's go ahead and show off this meteor. I'm going to drop it right there, okay. and boom. Bro, so one of the things that we were talking about earlier that we think they changed on the game, which kind of like changed the game a lot, like Kanoja was saying, is that all of the units have this ranger class, 
if you look at the list of subclasses, there's like a nuke class, which is explosion, and they have a runner class, but we haven't seen a single unit with the runner class. So if you guys played the first time, you would know that the runner class is someone that you could just place down right here, and it literally just runs to all the enemies. And that was a really, really cool concept because that, that really good. yeah, this is pretty much just a tower defense game right now. So I really, really, really hope that they bring something like that back because that made this game super unique. I loved that aspect of the game. So far, I don't hate it, but there's something I don't like about the about the movement for iPad at least. Is yeah. that there's a sprint button, but you have to hold it at the same time that you're moving. So then, if I'm trying to go another way or look half my screen, look at something else, I have to stop running to then do that. And oh. That becomes a little bit annoying. Yeah, that makes sense. I can definitely see how that's annoying. But so far, that's like the only actual bug or problem that I've seen so far. There's bugs here and there. They've been fixing a lot of the bugs as they see them coming. So uh, props to the dev team for actually trying to make the game a success. I don't know where this game is going. It had like 11,000 players on release, and as we're recording this now, I think it has like 5,000 people playing, so they're going to have to add some updates to it before we see some people actually, you know, caring more about this game. They also have an endless mode, and they have one raid that's available that you guys can do right now. Uh, the way you get the token to do the raid is just playing through story. I'm pretty sure that one of the stories gives you the opportunity to drop a raid token. It makes sense that not many people are playing it right now, given the, the drama before and the history of it. Some people must have been disheartened at the fact that it released, it wasn't the best, and then it got taken back. Some people might not really have faith that it's gonna be a good yeah, a good game, I hear you. And honestly, the only reason I actually tried to play is because I had already bought the two times love game pass and the VIP game pass. Here if I type, you'll see Oh. <gasps> they removed you! It, that's supposed to say VIP. Maybe it only says VIP in the lobby, but yeah. I had already bought the game passes for this game, so I'm committed. And, I thought it said um, OG though. No, that was one of the ones that I can get them. It also oh. says VIP. Oh, I do like more the fact that the bosses, that the enemies go, can go anywhere and just walk freely on the map. I feel like that's a little more exciting and you actually have to strategize more than it just being on a, on a line that it's already preset and that they're never going to move away Definitely. from Definitely. No, and another thing, I mean, I didn't really comment on it earlier, but the reason those enemies on this side were getting by earlier is because those enemies actually attack your units. And so that each unit here has a health bar. This one, like this guy has 80 health. Uh, if the enemy kills your unit, then he's gone, and they could just walk right on by, and so you gotta make sure that you have enough health on your team or enough damage to make sure you're not actually just losing right off the bat. And uh, wave 10 is the final wave. There is a boss that will be spawning in here in a second, so I'm not sure where it is yet. But as soon as it drops in, I'm gonna drop this meteor, and it's gonna do, like, zero damage. Why are you hiding from me, bro? Oh, there he is. It's Whitebeard, the man himself. Let me drop that right here. Alright, yeah, that literally does, like, no damage. So let me drop a debuff field oh, right over here. And I'm gonna drop a buffing field right on these units. Oh, never mind. Buffing field meant nothing. Yeah, we, we cleared that pretty easily. It's not that bad. And all of the maps are pretty much the same deal. You're gonna have... Uh, let me go back to the lobby and I'll show you guys, actually. If you look over here, there are different chat or universes that you can go to. Each universe has a different map layout. And uh, like I was telling you guys, there's raids and endless. And it, I think they actually took out the raid for now due to some bug that they were experiencing. So, lots of bugs. Lots of bugs. I'm not sure where, where this game's going to be going in the future, boys. But all I know is that it's, uh, it's kind of mid right now. I hope that it does better because I did invest in the game. And I do think that the concept of this game is phenomenal. Just like Kenojo. Yeah, yeah, I agree the concept is very good. I like it. It's different. It actually makes, it forces you to have to think a little more about the strategy if you don't have just overpowered units. Yeah, Not sure. very happy though with the codes having expired a day after release. Speaking of codes, I will drop a code that is available right now for you guys to use that should not be expired by the time this video goes out, which is Road Carry. Uh, it's, I'm going to put it in the description, so just check there. And uh, last thing I want to show you guys, the last thing that you can do here is create guilds. You have to be level 5+, plus, and it costs 50000 to create them. I will be creating my own guild, so if you guys want to be a part of that, let me know. And uh, if you guys want to see some streams of Anime Clash, I mean, I'd be down. I like the game. It's cool. There are bugs. Obviously, there's not too, too much to do in the game right now, but either way, I'm still down to play with you guys. It's not a big deal. And uh, if you did, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, and we'll catch you in the next one. We'll see you guys. Bye. Peace. Mwah.